Welcome to the UCD Open Day and especially to the School of English Drama and Film. My name is John Brannigan and I'm the head of school and today I'm going to introduce you to uh, my colleagues who are going to talk to you about the subject areas within the school. Paul Halferty will talk to you about drama, Jory Lagerway will talk to you about film and media studies and I'll also talk to you about the subject of English. Now our school is home to over 60 lecturers and professors who specialize in a wide range of literature, film, drama, media, and creative writing. And together with the students who take our programs of study at undergraduate and postgraduate level, we form a very vibrant, friendly, and engaging community, passionate about our subjects and passionate about sharing our knowledge, skills, and enthusiasm with others. We do this through classes, through lectures, through tutorials and workshops, but also through a whole range of other activities screenings, performances, readings, etc. Now ordinarily we would welcome you to Belfield, uh, to our campus, we would get you to meet you, we would get to meet you in person and you would have the opportunity to see all the facilities, the, the lecture halls and the classrooms, the student centre, shops and cafes, the woodland walks, the sports fields. We look forward to the day when we're able to welcome you to the campus to do this. In this session, we'll talk to you about what you can look forward to in your studies at UCD and why you should choose UCD as your first preference for English drama, film, and creative writing. Thanks, John. Thanks, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here this morning. So there's two ways to, to come into drama studies, pr pr primarily two ways, the joint major or through one of the pathways. But what all of these um, uh, um, ways to study drama at UCD share is, is an interest actually in theater and performance to kind of go away from drama studies because we're interested in thinking about theater and performance as something that happens in time and space between people and, and bodies on stage and bodies in an audience, something we all want to do very desperately at the, uh, in the current moment. Writing research and scholarly thinking and critical thinking really goes throughout all the subjects in the schools. And then we, but what we do in drama studies that is specific is we, is we um, engage in theater and performance, both in a scholarly way, in terms of our, our writing and research, but also on our feet. So unlike a, a conservatory program where you might study to be an actor, to be a director, to be a designer, we're not a conservatory program. We're really a theory and practice program. And we think that the best way to learn about things is both in theory and in practice. So throughout the, uh, the course, you will be able to take classes in playwriting, take classes in acting, take classes that require you to engage in director, directing and design. Um, so while we don't focus on one thing, we focus um, a little bit on everything. And we do that so that, because we know that through experiential learning, by actually getting up on your feet and engaging with um, texts and performances in performance, you're going to learn um, not, you're going you're gonna to learn in a way that is more well-rounded. So as I said, um, there are practical modules as well as academic modules. Um, so in your first year and second year, all the way through, there's always going to be um, some practical modules that you can take in the, in the first year, introduction to physical theater, second year, introduction to acting and staging performance, playwriting. Um, and uh, one of our most exciting modules is called Performance Project, where you work with your peers and a professional um, theater director who comes in each year from the from the, the Dublin theater community and devises a show with you, which means that you generate the theme, the ideas, you generate the texts, and then you um, stage the performance, all aided by um, a professional director. Um, the in our more academic modules, you will engage in um, in of course reading and writing about plays, but we go and see plays because we want you to not just analyze a play that you've read in the library. We want you to analyze a play that you went to see at the Abbey or at, at, at Project Arts. And so each, in almost every module that we offer each year, there's a, there's a theater visit component because we think that's absolutely vital to your understanding of theater and performance, again, as something that happens in time and space. Um, there are many opportunities to um, engage in theater and performance outside of, uh, of your modules. Um, Dromsoc at, at UCD is the largest Dromsoc in the country. It's hugely active. 
Um, they, they, it seems they do three or four plays a week. That's, I'm, I'm lying there. But they usually do one play a week. Like, it seems, it's quite shocking, actually, how much um, they, uh, they, they, they accomplish there. And it's a wonderful, wonderful place where um, the kind of camaraderie and community that you will have not only in your modules, but you'll extend to and have there with students who are not necessarily studying drama or in the School of English Drama and Film, but also have a passion and an interest in drama. Um, so it's so you can really meet people from all over the university uh, there. Um, the other the other thing that's quite particular about um, drama studies is because we have smaller classes in because practical classes need to be a little bit smaller. Um, you you get to know your peers and you get to know your lecturers quite closely. So by the end of year three, usually we know you know we will know all of you quite well and you'll know us quite well. So it's there's a a really kind of um, collegial and uh, experience among a, a cohort of your of your peers. To 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 sort of end, I'll just say again that it's a it's drama studies is really about thinking about theater and performance and experiencing theater and performance and doing theater and performance in a live way. So we'll look forward to doing that as, uh, with you uh, next year. You know, fingers crossed. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. I'm going to hand over now to to Jory to talk to you about film and media studies. All right. Hi, everyone. I'm Jory Lagerway. I'm the head of film studies. And this is usually one of my favorite days of the year because I just love coming to UCD on a Saturday and seeing all the students and their parents and getting to chat with you all. So uh, just thank you for coming by today and giving us this chance to talk to you, even if it's virtually. Um, so I want to say two main things about film studies. Um, first is that it is so much more than film. Um, we think of, we hear film and we think of the cinema, right? And we absolutely have modules and classes where you will learn the history of cinema, you will learn the art traditions of great cinema, you'll learn Hollywood, you'll watch action movies, uh, just like you'll watch sort of uh, high art pieces. Um, but it's so much more than that. Um, my own specialty is television, ranging from the trashiest reality TV. If you take one of my modules, we will watch Keeping Up With The Kardashians, I can almost guarantee it. Um, but we will also watch the award-winning prestige dramas um, that you love, or I, I won't project, but that many students love. Um, and we also have classes in digital media, and digital meaning everything you can think of, from the origins of the internet uh, in the 80s and 90s, to the social media that we all use every day, um, to the ways that cinema and television are in fact digital media. Uh, we've got modules that think about how the industry works. Um, and so those are particularly interesting for people who are interested in going into the industry. You might learn about jobs on set or behind the scenes in distribution and production that you didn't even know existed. Um, and we'll learn about how those things work in the global media environment. Um, and the other main thing I want to say about film studies is that we've got two different courses that you can take. The three-year degree, um, which I'm not going to talk about. I'll let you come by the booth and ask more questions about that. And we've got two four-year courses, um, and they're both really fantastic. They are English drama and film and music, film and drama, and they are unique to UCD. They are interdisciplinary ways that you get to study then all of the elements that make a final product. Um, if you think about watching a film or a television show or even a TikTok, it takes all of those things, right? It takes writing, it takes performance, it takes music, and it takes the, the photography. And so being able to put all of those disciplines together in these four-year degrees is just an amazing opportunity. Those are also then smaller programs like Paul Halferty was saying, you get to really know your cohort of classmates and build a real community. Um, that is, of course, available um, on the three-year degree as well because we have an incredibly active film sock. Um, they're just such a great group of students and they make 
make films, um, I, I think not one a week, <laughs> like the drama folks, um, but you will meet all sorts of collaborators um, and people you'll work with if you stick around Ireland for the rest of your life uh, in, in the industry. Um, so <laughs> we're out of time already. Um, so I'm going to pass it back to John, but please do come by the booth and we're so happy to answer any questions you've got and come study film uh, at UCB next year. Thank you. Great. Thanks, Jory. Um, and I'm going to talk to you briefly about English before we, we pass on. Um, so in English, we study all the ways in which the world is represented and imagined in written forms, in fiction, in drama, in poetry. In studying English, you'll have the opportunity to study the literature written in the English language from its earliest roots in Old and Medieval English, where we can read the, the myths and legends of knights and monsters, and right up to its prevalence as a world language and as a medium of global cultural citizenship. And we begin in first year with a core module on reading world literature. And this is kind of recognizing, you know, that status of English as a sort of medium of, of global culture, right? Uh, the Kenyan novelist Yvonne Adiambo Awur has a lovely way of saying this. She says that in the world, English has the biggest ears. And so we're, we're a very fortunate as a school to have a vast range of expertise, uh, including Irish, English, American, Canadian, Caribbean, Australian, European, African, and Asian literatures. And in every genre of writing, from poetry and drama to science fiction, crime fiction, children's literature. And therefore, we're very fortunate to be able to invite you to study English in this great range, this great diversity of where it's coming from, and also in all of its forms, right? From the practice of creative writing, as you've heard Paul talk about, uh, to understanding the past and understanding the world around us, to imagining the future, and to thinking about how we relate to and are dependent upon others. What we've seen, I think, during the pandemic is that in times of crisis, people turn to books and stories to try to understand the world we live in and try to understand how other people feel and how other people see things. And they try to imagine also how the world might be different. And this has happened during the pandemic where we've turned to the literature of the past to understand how did people through history experience and survive the Black Death in the 14th century or the Spanish flu in the early 20th century. And it's also happened, I think, as a result of global warming and climate change where we've turned to literature to learn more about and appreciate nature or to imagine what happens when human society is threatened by catastrophe. And reading literature takes us to the heart of understanding humanity and understanding some of the most complex problems we face in the world. And that's why some of our staff and some of our graduate students are engaged in research on environmental change, on medical humanities, on the role of culture and the arts in changing the world for the better. So in studying English, you'll have the opportunity to read and enjoy a wide range of literatures from around the world and in many genres and forms. And it's an immensely enjoyable and rewarding form of study. It's also a subject in which you learn many key skills and in which you can explore and develop your talents with our expert tuition and support. You'll learn to write and communicate more clearly, more persuasively and to write about complex ideas and problems, problems for which there's not one easy consensual view. And these are extremely important skills, obviously, in our world with all of its complexities. These are skills that help you with careers. And obviously, as my colleagues have talked about, there are internships, there are study abroad opportunities on our programs, which allow you to develop those skills. There are also invaluable life skills, which make any career and any life more rewarding and enriching. Uh, my name is Paul Perry, and I've been working at UCD uh, for over 10 years now in the School of English. And just to give you a little bit of context about how creative writing has grown as a subject and as an academic discipline in the School of English and in the College of Arts and Humanities, um, we started uh, uh, an MA program about 12 years plus ago, and we had tremendous amount of success with it. Uh, many of our uh, graduates were going on to publish their own novels, collections of poetry, to have their plays produced and dramatized. Um, so over the years, we uh, put our heads together and decided to develop an undergraduate pathway, a four-year BA in humanities with English and creative writing. 
um, in the institution, in UCD, we have had, had great writers come out of the, of, of the campus, uh, from Jem, James Joyce to Emma O'Donoghue to Maeve Binchy, um, to a whole host of writers, Flan O'Brien, one of my favorites, who was a legendary member of the debating society here um, back in the day. And in creative writing, um, what we normally rely on um, is something that we call um, formative feedback. Uh, so that means if you're a creative writing student, you're getting, you're getting feedback um, throughout the semester so that by the time you submit a portfolio, um, that's what we call your summative feedback, or your summative assessment, um, we, you know, it, it shouldn't be a, a great surprise to yourself or to us um, who are grading you because you've been getting feedback throughout the year. So in creative writing, we don't have exams. Um, we don't, uh, we, we do write essays, but they're, they're critical reflections, if you like. They're, they're um, self-reflexive um, commentaries on your own creative work. Um, and I suppose we learn how to do that in the first year and we develop that over the years. But the main focus of your creative work is creative. Um, and then there might be a small, what we call supplementary discourse. So you're reflecting on, okay, I wrote a series of poems or I wrote this short story, but um, you know, what was I thinking when I wrote this short story? Or um, how did I use my tutor or my peers comments you know, my other classmates' comments, how did I use their comments in revising the story for the final assessment? And that's something we're very interested in. In other words, the process, you know, the process of writing, reflecting about the different drafts that a piece of writing can go through. We want to thank you for attending uh, this meeting at the UCD Open Day. and uh, We look forward to welcoming you to UCD in the near future. Thank you.